Saving mesh with armatures, loading them in OpenSIM. This is part three of my series of videos on making Animesh. When you go to save your model as an Animesh, uh, a recommended thing that you should do is, well, you should get into object mode and you should select the object you want to save as a DAE file. It is uh, possible to save an empty file if you have selected the wrong thing or in the wrong mode. The file export as Collada default DAE brings up the, uh, the file save dialog. And over on the right, at least on Blender 2. Point nine three point two that I have, it has this dialog of, of options. I believe on older versions it appeared down here in the in the lower left. And occasionally when you switch versions of Blender, it disappears. Uh, you should learn that this little gearbox brings back up again. The parameters for a save DAE has some presets and one of these presets is OpenSim rigged and another one is OpenSim static. Obviously, we have a rigged object here and we want to save it rigged. And presumably, this is supposed to have the parameters necessary to save a rigged object, namely a, an avatar, uh, rigged clothing, or an animesh, which is what we're doing today. Well, let's see what all these parameters are that they set for us. In the main, they're saving the selection only. They're including armatures. That sounds good. And they have the global orientation. Now, it says Y forward and Z up, which is wrong. But uh, I, I've been advised that you should always just hit apply here. And uh, the coordinate system in Second Life is all messed up. And this is necessary in order to get things to come out right. The coordinate systems are transformed as they're read in of, of many objects. It turns out that Animesh is not allowed to have textures. If you open, if you load an Animesh uh, with textures, they just don't arrive and you have to load them uh, manually later. And so I uh, just turn that off while I'm in here. The Geometry tab has a Triangulate and Apply modifiers. If you know about modifiers, for example, you could have had the Mirror modifier turned on, then you only build half of an object and the Mirror modifier makes the other half identical for you. You have to click this in order to get that to work. But it has the side effect that it sometimes applies your last pose. Fortunately, I haven't posed my pole yet, and I haven't showed you how to do that. If you don't want your object to arrive pre-bent, uh, you might want to turn apply modifiers off. Of course, we want the, the all the armature options, deform bones and export to SL OpenSim. And even if we had animations in this model, well, you're not allowed to load them at the time that you load them into uh, OpenSim. And so uh, you might as well just turn that off. And in the extra, panel of this parameters, there's a button here called Keep Bind Info. If you made your own armature like I just did, you have to click that. If you're using the standard Second Life armatures, you know, you're, you're supposed to be able to leave that turned off. I'm always building my own armatures or I'm changing the one that came from uh, Second Life. And so I always have to check Keep Bind Info. And then you're allowed to save this. I'm going to save it as, as Dancing Pole and save. So now I'm going to jump in world and look at this pole. So here I am in OpenSim and I want to load that mesh. I use a build, upload, mesh model. Its name was uh, Dancing pr uh, Pole. Dancing Pole. 
Here it is. It looks pretty good. I uh, always crank up the level of detail just a little bit. And I can't resist doing that now. I recommend that you always choose some physics model. Failing to choose any physics model causes problems with uh, OpenSim. Uh, the only upload option we might want to set is include textures, and textures don't work with uh, Animesh. You have to load them separately. And of course, we're here to upload a rigged object. And you might have, no have noticed that as you set these flags, your model often gets distorted. And this is the moment when, if you misspelled any of these bones, you, uh, you would get an error message here. If you don't obey the hierarchy, what will happen is your model will be distorted in terrible ways. And so uh, you're highly motivated to obey the hierarchy. We just have a pelvis and a tail, so we're not in any trouble. Hit Calculate and then Upload. And since we made it from a cylinder, its name was still Cylinder. So here's my cylinder. It's 10 meters tall. And it's a meter in diameter. And how can you tell it's an Animesh object? Well, there isn't any way to tell because we don't have any animations yet. And so I'm going to go do a another video about making animations for Animesh. And then we'll come back in the in the next video to watch the pole finally dance.